that means six of them, which would be all of them, will be a hitter at some point in the game. Okay? And two of those hitters will be setters. Okay, good. So then what would a, what we're going to be running, which is a much simpler form of rotation and serve receive, or two, what would we be running? Four hitters and two setters. Very good. So that means four of the players on the court are going to be hitters. The two setters will not hit. They are only going to set. Okay? So we're going to go over a 4-2 in just a minute. So, if you look over here at your base rotation, base rotation one, we have our setter. Her opposite is over there. When she's a front row player in a 5-1 or a 6-2, she hits. Okay? When she's a back row, she'll set. Setters and right side hitters go together. Okay? So, if you're a setter or if you're a right side hitter, whichever position I give you, your opposite should always be the same. Okay, so let's just say, Flash, you're the setter. And let's say, Ducky, you're the right side hitter. Y'all should always be able to look across from each other and see her. If for, for whatever reason, Ducky's over here and you see her right here, y'all are out of rotation. Okay? All right. So remember, last time we talked about you do not have to write this. This is something that we're just going over. Okay? And then this is the other chord over here. Okay? Zones one, two, three, four, five, and six. Left back, right front. Okay? Makes sense? Middle front, left front, left back, middle back. Okay? So what we were talking about last time is this player. Yeah. This player. Can she go in front of this player? No. No. They're bound by each other. Right? Can this player be in front of this player? No. no. Yes. She's only bound by the people next to her. Now the hardest to understand is when you're in the middle. In the middle, you have three people you have to watch. You have to watch your side, your other side, left and right, and your front. These people are not next to her, theoretically. Okay, so right now, these people don't matter. She just needs to make sure she doesn't go in front of this player. She just needs to make sure she doesn't go to the left of this player. Okay, we talked about that last time. Before the serve. After the serve, you can go anywhere you want. Almost. Okay, so make sure you're watching that. So we did this last time. So, who goes this? We're going base one, serve, receive one. Base means just where you start. Serve, receive means they're about to serve, and we're going to receive it, so we're going to start stacking our players to get them as close as we can to the spots that they're very, very good at. Okay? Jules is a setter. And base one, setter, where do you go? And rotation one, base, base rotation one. Right back. Right back. Setter one. Where's your opposite? Left front. Left front. So is this, is this the second setter, or is this the right side hitter? Because she's front row. Okay, we'll put the slash, and we'll also put her second setter, because that's who she'll be, right? When she's front row, she'll set, or she'll hit. When she becomes back row, she'll set. Remember? And then 6-2, there's two setters. And we're just going to go over 6-2, because it's easier. Okay? Who's in right front? And base rotation one. Outside hitter one. Outside hitter one. And the one stands for what? The closest to the setter, okay? Outside hitter one is normally the best hitter of the team, and we want the best hitter next to our setter, okay? Because the setter can set, and the hitter can hit. It's pretty simple. Usually the best hitter, most of the time, weaker passer, okay? That's why when she gets to the back row, she becomes a... Yes. Okay? So, outside hitter, her opposite is where? Look across. Left back. Left back. So this is outside hitter two, but when she's back row, she's what? DS. DS. And DS stands for? Defense by defense. Excellent, ladies. Okay? Middle front. It gets confusing, right? But by the end of the season, you should know everything there is to know about volleyball, and you'll be ready for an Apex or a national team. Okay? Higher, higher level. 
Okay, the girls at your age, about 10 years ago, did not compete like this at this age. It's nuts what you guys are now doing at your age, okay? Here, you're learning college level stuff, right? This is how it used to be, right? Much, much older stuff, but now you're learning it at like eight, nine, and it's nuts the way that what we're having to teach them. It's just crazy. Okay, so what do we have? Base rotation one. Middle, middle, MB is what we usually do, or we it'll just be called M, or it can be called MH, right? Middle hitter, middle blocker, middle, okay? We'll just do middle blocker, but just know that also means middle hitter, okay? And is that one or two? Two. Two, good. Across from her, her opposite should be the other middle player. Remember, middle stick together. Right sides and setters stick together. DSs and outside hitters stick together. That is the extent of your positions. DS, outside hitter, right side hitter, center, middle hitter, libero, okay? Across from her is the other middle blocker, okay? But she's back row. So what is she? Libero. She's a libero, okay? Can a libero rotate to the front row? She can? No. She is only bound by the back row. And we're going to explain that, okay? All right, so now, let's say we're going into a serve-receive. What does serve-receive mean? Remember, there's only two things to do at the beginning of a set. You're either serving or you're either receiving. receiving. So if it's our turn to serve, and let's say we get the ball first, and you're just going to hear me say, hey, we have serve. That's it. If we don't have the serve, then we go into what's called serve-receive, okay? They serve, we receive. It means we're about to be defense, okay? We're immediately going into defense. Because we're immediately going into defense, we want to push the setter. Where does the setter usually go to? Go ahead. Where is the setter set from? Where do we always practice our drills to pass to? Middle. Yeah. Middle, okay? At higher ages, it becomes you know, a little bit more towards right front, but at our age, just until we understand, it's the middle. So we've got to get her all the way to the middle without passing her and without crossing her. She can't be on this side of her and she can't be in front of her. Okay, so this is what we started as volleyball players started uh, and coaches conducting what's called stacking options. And there's many, many different options. The basic is what we're about to go over. It's called the U-shaped defense, or C-shape, right? So here's, here's the stack. We're gonna push the outside hitter to the net, okay? And we're gonna push the setter up all the way, very close to her spot. Is she in front of her? No, so we're still good. Is she on the left side of her? No. Then we're in, we're, in, we're in rotation so far, but what does that leave right here? Oh. to that position. So what do we do? We put the little barrel there. Okay. Is that correct? We filled in the space. Is it correct? Well, hold on. Yes, there is a space on the back, but we're still focusing only on the little barrel right now. Is she in rotation? No. Why? Because she's on the other side of the set. Exactly. If you push over too much, libero, whoever that libero is going to be, and you cross the other side of the person up here who is just back here, remember she's supposed to be back here, libero just moved to the other side of the setter, we are going to be called out of rotation. So we've got to stay in the line. Technically it's one foot, one foot on the other side. Let's just say, just for purposes, this light socket, or this plug right here is the setter. She's in front of me. I need to be at least one foot on the other side of her, okay? Because if I go two feet over here, I'm out of rotation, okay? So here we go. So we put a line just to kind of show you, all right? So libero moves there. So if it's too far over, then we need to tell our outside hitter and our setter, hey, push over a little bit. 
okay? So we can get the barrel more room. Does your whole body have to be, or can you have like a foot? It's a foot, yeah. It's gotta be at least one foot. Um, at this age, the, depends on what level, um, and they'll know what level we are. If it said Apex or Elite, then they'd be harsh on us, just like any other team, but if it's regional or metro, the ref will be, he'll know. He'll be like, he'll look at the setter, and he'll be like, Right? After he tells you like three times, then he'll blow the whistle and call you for rotation. But they're usually really nice. Usually. Okay? You are going to see coach blow up a little bit. Okay? Especially if it's not the right call. Okay? I protect my kids. Okay? So, right here, we got an open space. So we're going to move now the DS over. Okay, I'm just going to call her DS. We're not going to put outside hitter because in the back row she's the DS. Is she still behind her? Yes. 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 Is she in front of her? No. 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 Then she's good. Is she on the wait? No, I'm sorry. That doesn't matter. She's not in. She's behind her, so she's still in rotation. Is she on the right side of the libero? No. No. no so no. we're still in rotation. So now what do we do with her? We got a, a space up here. She's front row but we're gonna push her back. We're gonna push back the right side hitter. Let's do this. Are we in rotation? Yes. Are you sure? No, we don't. There's nobody in the no. front. Okay, yeah, but that's not rotation. That's just um, a hole. We can fill that. The right side is behind the DS. She's behind the DS. Now we're out of rotation. Okay. So make sure on the first rotation in serve receive, when you push back, you stay in front of the DS. Okay? Now we get this nice U shape of defense. Okay? Right side will cover short balls. The DS will cover deep. Right? If you remember this, short right, deep left, we kind of worked on it. We're going to work on it a little bit more. But look, short right, deep left. So DS will get her deep balls. This is all the DS. Right side will get all the short balls. And libero will get all of this and all of this. Okay? And then the DS has this and all this area. Okay? So now what about all the short balls in front? Well, we move the middle back, back to the 10-foot line. So now all she's got to do if the ball comes to her is pass straight up and then get that right foot out in front ready to hit. Okay? So now let's play this out. Let me clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer so we can re redo this. We're almost done. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because we're going to do this every time we come to practice. Libero, we got the DS here, right side just pushed up, and then we have middle back. Okay? So that's our defense right now. This is serve receive serve receive one technically it's a called a push up because we're pushing the center up so we we could technically call this oops option one and there's going to be up to three different options that we can do okay all right let's just say they keep serving and they keep scoring well then i'd probably go all right you know what let's push the center back and that's another whole thing that we're going to learn later, okay? We need to be able to switch our offense and defense on command and know exactly what we're against. If we see the other team working with a certain defense, then we need to switch up our offense. If we see that they have a really good offense, then we need to learn how to switch between defenses on command, okay? So now we've got this all set up. They're about to serve. Okay, here's the ball. She serves it, and it's starting to come. It goes directly to the DS first. Did it go to the right side hitter? No. No, no it went to the DS. Did it go to the outside hitter? No. no. As soon as she serves, remember, everyone can move, and they can cross each other. So as soon as she serves, you're going to see your setter immediately run to position to get ready to set that ball. Okay? So now the setter runs, and now she's here. Did it go to the outside hitter? No, the ball came to the DS. So what do you think the outside hitter is going to immediately go and do? The ball didn't go to her. She's going to go to hit. 
So she comes here to get ready to hit, okay? Where does the right side hitter go? Did the ball come to the right side hitter? No. No, it went to the DS, so right side hitter's gonna go and hit. Okay? Pay attention. Did the ball go to the middle hitter? No. No, no. so she's just gonna slightly back up and get ready to hit. Okay? Now we've got three hitters ready, and you're gonna hear, five, five, five. You're gonna hear two, two, two. And then you're gonna hear your outside, or right side over here. She's the outside hitter, but she's on the right side. Nine, nine, nine. They're all calling for their set. They're all ready. Now the setter sets. She heard right side first on the outside position. She sets it. Okay, now she hits. We did not score. The other team defended it. So now when the ball crosses the net, we are not in offense anymore. Okay, we were just in defense. We turn it into an offensive play. We hit it. And now we immediately get ready to defend the ball again because they defended it. So you're now going to hear everyone yell, switch. And this is where the right side hitters go to what part of the court? What, where are right side hitters? What hitters are they? The right side of the court. So you're going to see right side run to the right side to get ready to block. You're going to see outside hitters. What are outside hitters? Left side, left side, outside hitter, run to the left side to get ready to, to block. And then this setter, setters go to what part of the court? Setters in our setters are what kind of hitters? Let's look at this. Setters are what kind of hitters? Right, right side, remember setters slash right side hitters. Okay, so you're gonna see the setter run to the right side of the court, but there's already someone up here. It's the right side hitter in the front row. So where's she gonna run to? The back. The back, because that's where she started. She's a back row player. She's not a front row player. We only pushed her up to get her close to her position. So now she's gonna run all the way back here to her home to get ready to defend the ball. And then everyone's in position. And this is what it's going to look like. I know it's confusing, babies, but we'll get it, OK? Defense is going to look like this, OK? You're going to have your right side hitter. You will have your middle blocker. You will have your outside hitter. They hold up their hands. They hold up their hands. They hold up their hands. And then you'll have your libero in the middle back. You will have your setter over here. And then you will have your DS right here. They create a triangle. And here's your defense. Okay? The line stands for where they're facing. All right? Everyone's ready to defend the ball now. Who follows with me? Who understands what we're talking about so far? So now everyone's ready. How do we know where to go on the court when we switch to defense? Well, some of you will remember this. Three by three, we go to the 10 foot line, we take three steps in. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. Okay, this is what's called a middle, middle defense. All right. Now, let's say they hit the ball and we drop it on, on the defense. They just scored on us. Darn it. So now what do we do? Well, guess what? Where did she start? On the right side. And base rotation one. So now everyone has to go back to their base where they first started. Okay? Because if you stay in defense when we switch, you're out of rotation. So now you have to go all the way back to your base. And then guess what? We set it up again. And serve receive one. Because we're still in rotation one. They scored. So now we set it up all over again. 
Setter, outside hitter pushes up, setter pushes behind, libero, Diaz, right side, middle back. Now we get ready and serve receive again because they scored and now they're about to serve again. Okay? So let's pretend they didn't score. Let's say we scored. Now we get the ball back. So before we rotate to base rotation two, what do we have to do? We all have to go back to our base positions because outside's over here. So remember, she's got to go all the way back to right here and then rotate. Does that make sense? Because outside hitter was up here, right? I hope y'all are paying attention. Stay with me, stay with me. Try to really understand, okay? Because we're about to have to go out to the courts and start performing this stuff, okay? It'll start making more sense as we go through it the more we do it, okay? But remember, where was outside hitter when we first started? Where are right side hitters now? Where are right side hitters now? So she can't stand this before we rotate. Let's say we squint, we, we just scored. Everyone jumps up and down. But she doesn't, everyone stays where they're at because that's where they switch to. And then we rotate. Right side hitter comes here. The setter goes here. We're already out of rotation. Everyone's out of rotation. Okay? DS goes here. Uh-oh, can the right side hitter look across from her and see the other setter? No, it's the DS. Oh crap, now we're definitely out of rotation. So you're gonna see me say, hey, stop. Everyone go back to your first rotation you were at. Then outside hitter will have to come all the way back here. Right side will go all the way back here, middle stays. And then the setter will stay, Libero will stay, DS will stay. Now I say, this is your base rotation. Now everyone rotate. Now outside will hitter will rotate to the position and everybody will be back in the position. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do, the last thing. just to make sure we kind of understand it. Okay, now we're gonna go through rotation two. All right, we just scored. Now we're gonna rotate again. Except this time I'm just gonna put the net and we're just gonna make it really simple to make it go. I'm not gonna go crazy, okay? So where was base rotation? Where's the center in base rotation one? The center was in? Right back. Right back. So now everyone, Let's say everyone went back to their uh, to their base, and then now coach says, "Hey, rotate." Now where's the setter go? Middle back. Middle back. Base rotation two. Base two. Okay, so now we're in base rotation. Setter's here. The setter can look across from her and see her other position. If you're a setter, you're also a. the right side hitter, okay? Okay, so where's my outside hitter? My outside hitter was here in base one, so now she's here. Oh wait, but she's not an outside hitter now. So what does she become? Turks, if you're not an outside hitter, what are you? Outside hitter slash yes. Okay. Yes. So that means across from her, she should see. This is where the DS was, but when she rotates, she's not a DS anymore. She's front row. Well, she becomes what? the other outside hitter. Make sense? I hope so. Where's my middle? My middle blocker was right here, so now where does she go? Here. Okay. Is she in the back row yet? No. No, so she's not a libero yet. Good. So now where's my libero? My libero was here. Now it's here.